Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to my new patterning channel, learning about Clo 3D. If you've watched the previous two videos, I'm doing a kind of a combo introduction to using Clo, but also an introduction to patterning. Um, as I said before, I've been patterning for almost two decades, but I've only been using this program for a couple months, and I have found it very beneficial to go back to my very beginning patterning skills when learning the 3D model. Uh, so that's what, where we are today. Um, we're going to be doing some more dart manipulation. I'm going to move this bust dart to this waist dart. Um, I do encourage you, if you're into this, Clo 3D has released a series of introductory, introductory videos, which I have found very beneficial, especially just when learning the interface and like what the different buttons do and the shortcuts and uh, whatnot. I will cover some of that as we go through the program, but I won't be covering everything in just one video. Uh, so a little review of where we are. On the left here is your avatar, and on the right is your 2D pattern. So think of this as your fitting room, and this is your table. I have chosen the default fabric, so it's basically like a muslin. Um, and we'll get into how to change fabric and manipulate the color and the weave and whatnot in later videos. Um, but for now, it's just basically a muslin. The one thing that I have done here is on the t-shirt icon, I have turned on my style lines. Uh, so when you choose the last box, which is the style line box here, it'll give you the option of thickness and whatnot. So I have mine on two on um, black. Don't hit the X, because if you hit the X, it'll just make it go away. But if you hit the arrow, it'll stay. All right, and then over here is my 2D pattern. So I'm gonna zoom in here so we can start working. As I've said before, Clo does have a dart manipulation tool, or excuse me, a dart tool. It's more for adding fullness rather than rotating darts. So I haven't found it particularly helpful, but instead I found another way to rotate these darts around. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to my internal polygon tool. If you left click on this, you'll get options, internal uh, polygon, rectangle, ellipse, dart, so on. Let's use polygon, which is a line. And this is basically the equivalent of a pencil uh, if you were, as you're drawing your new style lines. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go from the tip of my bust dart over to the center. Now one little trick, is if you hold the shift key down as you do this, it will lock your point at a perpendicular angle so it won't let you veer off. And this way I know that I am exactly parallel. Or, um, so I'm gonna click right here, double click, which is my bus point. And then I'm gonna connect the bus point to the tip of the waist start double click or hit enter and what i've done here is essentially tell clo where my bust point is and now i can start manipulating this for those of you new to patterning in general for the most part your dart tips here land slightly back from the apex of the bust here um it's a anywhere from one inch to one and a quarter, maybe a little less. It just depends on the person and the body type and what you're going for. So now that I have those lines, I'm gonna to come to my trace tool here. And then I'm gonna to come to my line. I'm gonna right click and choose cut. So it's cut that apart. I'm gonna right click and choose cut. Great, so now it has removed this piece. This is a symmetrically linked pattern, so as of now, everything I do on the left, it is also doing on the right. Uh, that won't always be guaranteed though, so you, I will have to go back and repeat some of the same, same steps on the right. 
I'm going to come to my edit patterning tool. You see these two points here, which were the end of my original dart tip. They're kind of jutting out a little bit, which is creating an odd angle for my dart. So I'm just going to choose that point and delete it. Choose that point and delete it. Same here and same here. Uh, now I'm going to merge these two lines. This would be if you were scotch taping your pattern together on the table. I'm going to choose that line and hold my shift key down. Choose that line. So they're both selected. Right click and merge. And as I said, some of these shortcuts, uh, I think it's beneficial to watch those videos that were put out by Clo 3D themselves because the interface is slightly different depending on if you're on a Mac or on a PC. I am on a Mac. All right, so it kind of did a funky thing with my pattern, but that's easily to fix. So I chose this transform pattern tool and at the top, there's a little dot and if I hover over it, I get this little rotation button. I can just rotate it back on grain, keep working with it. Okay, so you see what I mean. The pattern did not symmetric, did not merge this line because this piece was no longer symmetrically linked once I cut it away. I'm just going to repeat that step. Select shift, select right click, and merge. It's still slightly off okay, angle. I'm just going to turn it back. All right, so we're getting there. Now my new, I've moved all the fullness down, but I still need to adjust my dart tip because right now it's ending right at the apex of the bust. In this scenario, I'm going to lower it about half an inch. roughly. I want to try to stay as center as I can in the middle there so that my tip isn't drifting too far to the left or to the right. That's about half an inch. I'll do the same over here and it's okay if it's not perfect. We'll fix it here in a second. I think making sure that it's center is more important. There we go. If you were working on the table at this point, you would likely go ahead and tape your dart leg shut so you could make sure the bottom of your pattern has a nice graceful curve as well as that your dart legs are the same length. There isn't really a way to temporarily close this dart, at least not in the 2D form. So the easiest way I've figured out is simply to check the length lengths of your dart legs and go from there. So that's eight point, it's like eight and an eighth. And that's roughly eighth and an eighth, but they're not perfect. So I'm gonna right click, change lengths, and let's just say I want them to be eight and an eighth, which is 8.125. And then you have the option of sh changing the line from the start, the end, or both. I'm going to want to do it from the bottom here. Let me zoom, cancel so I can zoom in. Let's see a little better. There we go. So it's shortening it from that end. Do the same here. Same over here. Just making sure it's coming from the bottom. All right, so now they are the same, but the middle of my pattern is a little wonky now, so I'm just going to delete that middle point and see if it smooths out that curve. I flattened it. But that's a good lesson. So now once I deleted that point, 
um, you could do control Z and undo, or if you come up here to your edit patterning tool, there is a smooth curve. And in this case, you choose the first point. I'm not sure you can see. And the second point. And it's going to tell you what to do next. Next, it says select the side that will be replaced with the reference line. So I'm choosing, they're right on top of each other, so it's hard to see, but when I click here, it has chosen the edge of my pattern. And now it says click and drag the reference line to convert to curve. It's a little hard to see when they're right on top of each other, but now I can click here and I can adjust my curve however I want. In general, it's always just a slight curve in the front. I'm going to do the same over here. Just give it a slight, ever so slight curve. You can always true this up later. But graceful curves, graceful curves. That's what we want. All right, so we've successfully moved the bust start fullness to the waist start. Over here, I'm gonna zoom in. And the dart is already sewn, um, but you can double, also double check that by coming to your segment sewing tool. And you can see that it's already highlighted. You see the notches there and there, which tells me that it's, it's still sewn together. Uh, you just always want to double check that because sometimes the program might delete your sewing as you're manipulating the pattern, but everything's okay here. I'm going to choose simulate, which is this arrow or the space bar. And it has simulated. And even here you can see that my bust points, um, excuse me, my dart tips is still a little high on the bust point here, so I could go back and adjust that. Turn simulation off. Okay, so that's it for this video. Uh, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. And if you have any comments or questions, please put them below and I will do my best to respond. Thank you for watching.